notice just now? Okay. You felt lighter? Okay, good. So that's an interesting quality. Nice description. Just shout it out. Anything else you noticed? Fun? Okay, good. What did you have to do to, to engage your partner or to be successful in co-creating a story? Listen, think, eye contact. Sorry? Stay engaged, yeah, absolutely. Really be right there in the moment. So you've just tapped into your improvisation capacity. We all have it, and these are some of the things that I do with organizations, just to remind them about what they do every day and to help us become more mindful of the ways that we improvise and engage. I also discovered three dimensions of improvisation, and these may resonate with you based on what you just experienced. The first is the competence dimension. The competence is the ability to respond to the unexpected and unplanned using available resources. Now that's the skills and knowledge dimension and you were just responding to the unexpected. What was unexpected right now, just now, in what you were given? The next word, of course, you had no idea. Did any of you have the experience where your partner, um, you started kind of scripting your story and you knew, you thought you knew where it was going and then <laughs> your partner, totally messed up, right? <laughs> Didn't follow your script. So you had to improvise. That's the wonderful thing, isn't it, about collaboration, co-creation? Together we're going to co-create something neither of us would have created on our own, but we have to let go of something along the way, don't we? Oh, we hate that. What is it we have to let go of? Control, yeah, yeah. But what we get in return is that level of energy and engagement you just experienced. There are two other dimensions that I hadn't really paid enough attention to until I did this research. The consciousness dimension. That's the lively awareness of possibilities that you were just experiencing now. That's being right there in the present moment. Let me ask you, as you were playing just now, could you think about mm, all those emails you have to return or those of you who are tweeting your ne what your next tweet is going to be? You could only, right? You could only be right there in the moment if you were truly, truly playing the game. This state of improvisation consciousness is somewhere between panic and boredom. Right? Because when we're in panic, we're so frozen we can't respond. But in boredom, we're completely disengaged. We just don't care. So we're not going to respond. But somewhere in between is that sweet spot of improvisation consciousness, that state of high engagement. Now there's a third dynamic that's important, confidence. This is something some of us have lost over time and it, we can get it back. A belief in one's own and others' abilities. It's a big part of our improvisation capacity when we have each of these, the confidence, the consciousness, and the and the confidence we have improvisation capacity. Now here's what I discovered. The more people began developing their improvisation capacity, the more they began describing this experience of play space. And the more play space they began describing, the more they started improvising, the more they developed their improvisation capacity. So this became an amplifying relationship that we started experiencing heightened engagement and heightened capacity for improvisation, really important dynamics for organizational success.